This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 22nd of December. I'm Michael Groff. It's a wet day out there today. Lots of rain around. Could see some isolated thunderstorms as well. How much rain will we get before it's all said and done? What about the weather for the weekend and Christmas? Do we have any more rain chances out there? And what about temperatures? A lot to talk about. We will dive in and figure it all out as we go here. But before we do that, it is Friday. And that means it's Photo Friday here. And that's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. First up, let's check it out here. This is from David Parnell from Lake Havasu City from last weekend. Of course, he goes around and checks out all the high school sports around. And uh, apparently it is basketball season now. But it uh, looked like a nice weekend over there in western Arizona. This one is from William. Looking toward the McDowell Mountains. Beautiful sunrise. And Pete, with a great shot here of the Superstition Mountains. And again, Arizona, even when there's no rain, even when there's no thunderstorms, always good stuff, always opportunities to take some glorious photos. Uh, these are from Greg. Uh, this is from Seven Springs. Gorgeous pictures there. And last but certainly not least... We've got Beth in North Phoenix with a fantastic picture there from Tuesday evening and uh, right around sunset, some clouds rolling on through. Love to see all those pictures. Thank you to Beth. Thank you to everyone for all of your photos. We could not do this segment without you. Photo Friday, we do it each and every week. And if you want to get your submissions into us, groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, let's get into it here. Checking that almanac from yesterday. And how about this? Another record. This time a record high. 78 degrees the afternoon high. 56 the morning low. That wasn't a record warm low temperature, but certainly uh, above the uh, averages of 65 and 44. The previous record, 77 degrees, last set in 1985. No rain in the bucket yesterday. We've already had close to four-tenths of an inch this morning, though, so we are cutting into that deficit. That's great news. Sunrise, 728. Uh, sunset, 525. Days are now going to slowly start getting longer. All right, as we take a look outside right now here at uh, just after 9, 9.06 a.m., we've got uh, some light to moderate rain coming down and low visibility across the area. We're sitting at 57 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point 53, 87% the humidity. The air is calm right now. And the barometer, 30.06 inches and steady. Checking the radar across the region right now. Yeah, a lot of rain out there. Light to moderate rain. A little bit of uh, heavier showers there just to the south and west of Phoenix. Most of this moving to the north, northeast. So we'll continue to see rain through the day today. And further to the west, the rain's been pretty heavy across parts of Southern California. And yes, we have seen a few isolated thunderstorms popping up. And any of those that we see today would serve to enhance the rainfall. The upper level weather pattern shows you exactly what's going on here. It's that area of low pressure. We've been talking about this for several days, very slowly meandering its way into the southwest. Good dynamic support out ahead of it. Plenty of... Uh, Moisture coming in on south to southwesterly flow aloft. And so all of that is going to set the stage for rain to continue through today, tonight, and into tomorrow. Now, this is a forecast that's a little bit more complex than meets the eye. And we're going to talk about that in detail in a moment. But uh, at this point, uh, the general idea is for unsettled weather for at least the next 24 to maybe 30, 32, 36 hours. The watch warning map, some dense fog advisories over the central and northern plain states. For us, of course, it's a flood watch that's in effect through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. That includes us here in the Phoenix area, the Salt River Valley, as well as Gila Bend, and much of Yuma, La Paz, Riverside, Imperial Counties, some of the other counties in Southern California. We've had a couple of flood warnings uh, earlier this morning in parts of Southern California as well. Further up in the uh, higher terrain, we've got winter weather advisories across parts of Arizona and Southern California as well. Convective outlook for today, there is a marginal risk of severe storms over parts of Southern Arizona. That's level one out of five. And again, places like Yuma and Parker, Quartzsite, uh, close to Gila Bend, Casa Grande, Tucson, Nogales, uh, 
yes, and into southeast Arizona, mainly south of the greater Phoenix area. And the primary risk from any severe storms that would occur would be gusty winds. Uh, but obviously, anytime you have this a low pressure area like this, I know people are going to inevitably ask about a tornado potential. And look, any thunderstorm that occurs can always produce a brief little spin up tornado. There is a little bit of rotation, obviously, with low pressure and uh, the winds aloft are decently strong with this. So, yes, there could always be a little spin up someplace, but that's not a concern that we really have. Uh, it's any severe weather that would occur and it would be very isolated would produce some strong gusty winds in order to be severe of course winds have to be 58 miles per hour in speed or greater by gust or sustained wind and again the reason that most of that is south of us well, again we'll talk about that in a moment but uh, the better dynamics the stronger winds and the cold core the cold core of this low is going to remain a little further to the west of us the stronger winds aloft will also remain either to the west or southeast of us. We'll sort of be bifurcated by these, uh, uh, by the better dynamics here in the south central desert. It's kind of a little donut hole for us. And I know people are going to say, big surprise there, right, Mike? But still, we're getting decent rain, and that's really what we want out of this. Severe weather? Yeah, you can have it. All right, uh, here's the precipitation outlook. And this is valid through Friday morning of next week. Still looking at rain amounts in Phoenix between an inch and maybe as much as an inch and a half. A little bit more than that, though. Favored upslope areas north and east of Phoenix. And again, over parts of northern Arizona, if you're above about 7,500, 8,000, 8,500 feet, that will come down to the form of snow. Yes, there will be a little bit of snow mixing in all the way down to places like Flagstaff. But in terms of meaningful snow sticking on the ground, probably not. All right, let's get into it now. We'll look at the models, see what the future may hold, what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail. So let's check that out. Here we go, the GFS. This is the 06Z run. It's valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that upper low coming into the southwest. Good dynamic support with that feature. And, well, what you see is what you get. Down at the surface for the rest of the day today, cloudy, periods of rain. Uh, mostly light to moderate rain for us, but it could be heavy at times. And, yes, we could see a few embedded isolated thunderstorms this afternoon uh the chance of severe weather marginal though it is further to the south and west of us south and southeast of us mainly over far southern southwest southeast arizona um but again if we do get a thunderstorm maybe some gusty winds to 30 35 miles per hour and some small hail isn't completely out of the question but the main concern is just rain and that'll be with us today that will continue into the evening hours all right, I want to show you, this is the uh, HRRR, this is one of our high-resolution models, and we'll highlight why uh, we're looking at the thunder potential here. This is the surface base cape at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and you can see most of that is right here over south-central and southwest Arizona, but instability values, and that's what you're looking at here, uh, cape is convective available potential energy. It represents the ability for air parcels to freely rise through the atmosphere. It amounts... You know, here in the cool season, we don't need a lot to get thunderstorms, but, you know, this is three, four, five hundred joules per kilogram worth of cape. So there could be some thunder. But this isn't what I would look at for, you know, big widespread severe weather event. And the higher cape values remain mostly to the south and west of us. And that's just how it's going to be with this feature. All right. Now for tonight, periods of showers will continue. I think we might get a bit of a lull in the rain, actually. Again. The, the cold core of this system remains a little to the west of us and the better, uh, deeper moisture plume, the IVT, remains a little bit to the south and east of us. So I think rain tonight may taper off a bit. We might just get a few showers around here and there. Uh, and the better rain, again, remains to the west and to the southeast of us. But it should return by tomorrow morning. Overnight lows tonight, mostly in the 50s. And then tomorrow, again, Showers, isolated thunderstorms in the morning, they'll decrease by the afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow, still on the cool side, low to mid 60s, kind of like today. Now, by Saturday night and Sunday, the rain moves out of here. Sunday should be a pretty nice day overall. There could be a shower in the morning, uh, but most of the day is just partly cloudy. And high temperatures for your Christmas Eve, still managing to get into the upper 50s and low 60s. Now, drier air is going to come in Sunday night. Christmas Eve night and then uh, for Christmas Day. So we'll start the day out on Christmas, upper 30s, low 40s for most of us. 
and high temperatures, uh, I'd say again, low to mid 60s. And that's going to hold true pretty much for the upcoming week here for Tuesday. Mostly sunny, low to mid 60s, maybe mid to upper 60s on Wednesday with some high clouds coming on through. And it's pretty much the same story as we go to Thursday. Some mid and high level clouds around at times and high temperatures anywhere from about 64 to 68. Now let's go to a week from today. This is Friday the 29th. And if this is right, we'd be dry. A little short wave ridge coming on in here. Uh, nothing really to get too excited about with that. Uh, temperatures would remain at or just a couple of degrees above climatological averages. Then as we take a look out 10 days, this is Sunday the 31st. It is New Year's Eve, the last day of 2023. And I don't, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I'm not sorry to see this year go. Uh, so we'll, we'll close out the year with an area of low pressure coming our way. And ultimately, that could lead to a few showers by New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or just beyond that period. We've, we have seen this advertised by the models, uh, but the timing and all of this still remains to be seen. Still, it looks like we could start out January on an unsettled note. I hope so. We'd love to get some rain in the bucket early on in the new year. All right, let's check out rainfall for Phoenix. This comes off the GFS Ensemble, and this is going through the 5th of January. The ensemble mean about an inch, inch and a half for the European ensemble. And you got the control member over two inches. So again, kind of bullish on precipitation to close out 2023. And I hope so. And of course, much of that's going to come from this system now, but there could be a little bit there toward the end of the month or early on in January. And then temperatures off the national blend of models. Mostly highs in the 60s on any given day, overnight lows, 40s, around 50. Again, we could very easily get down in the upper 30s in the cool spots on a few of these mornings next week with some drier air coming in. All right, folks, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here, well, tomorrow morning with unsettled weather expected. Um, if you enjoy what we do here, well, then be sure to like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you want to support us monetarily, well, then click that little thanks icon below the video here on YouTube and make those monetary contributions. $2, $5, $5,000. It all helps in furtherance of this video. You're really supporting us. And we really appreciate that. Like Clayton yesterday uh, made a donation. And again, can't thank you guys enough for all of that. That really does help out and uh, keeps us going here. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, the proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. But more importantly than any of that, she's got her own video that she's released. Um, about her excursion to the Philippines, uh, her solo adventure uh, out there to the West Pacific. And uh, you can check that out. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. I highly encourage you guys to take a look at that. Check it out. Michelle and myself, but mostly Michelle, worked very hard on that video. And so I do uh, want you guys to check that out, please, if you would be so kind. All right. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support. Greatly appreciated. Be safe. Enjoy the rain, please. And have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.